And we often talk about the Chinese government and the Chinese army, but what about the Chinese people? How do they see all of these developments? It seems that they regret the deeds of the Communist Party, especially China's provocations and transgressions at the border with India. And I have a reason for saying this. New Delhi has responded with bans and economic distancing. The Chinese side remains adamant. It will not go back. Guess who is unhappy with China's stand? Its own people and China's very own big businesses. On this show, we've reported often on the Global Times, the Chinese state mouthpiece known for its saber rattling in the name of reportage. Three months after the standoff in Ladakh, the Global Times has published a survey on India-China relations and the results are interesting to say the least. The Chinese citizens, it turns out, like India, more than 50% hold a favorable impression of India. Almost 51% respondents like the Modi government. 70% believe the anti-China sentiment in India is excessive. More than 30% feel the ties will improve. Almost 9% of the respondents say that they see improvement in the short term. 25% feel things will improve in the long term. The Chinese citizens hold a favorable view of a democratic India. This is a survey that Beijing should be reading very carefully. It's a message more for Beijing than for Delhi. Meanwhile, China's biggest tech company, Huawei, is going all out to woo India. It's running big ads in all leading dailies of India. The message is the same. Huawei is as committed as ever with India for India. The company says it has been doing business in India for 20 years now. Huawei seems to be spending a lot of money on this campaign. Why now, you may ask? Well, this could be one of the reasons. A report from the Financial Times came out earlier this week. It says that India is looking to phase out equipment from Huawei and other Chinese players. Instead of a formal ban, New Delhi has reportedly indicated to telecom companies that they should stay away from Chinese gear. Now, Huawei is facing a complete ban in the United States, in the United Kingdom and Australia. It has faced a partial ban in New Zealand. Now it faces an informal ban, and India is not the only one doing this. Canada is following a similar strategy. It is supposed to decide the fate of Huawei, but Canada has delayed a final verdict. The delay is long enough for Huawei to get the message. Remember, Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou is facing extradition proceedings in Canada. The United States wants her custody over alleged violation of Iran sanctions. Canada and China are fighting a diplomatic war over this, and Huawei is proving to be the casualty. Perhaps Huawei feels that it still stands a chance in India, so the company is giving out ads, reminding people of its long relationship with India. The Global Times is now saying that Chinese citizens like India. Huawei is making a major PR push. They seem to be regretting the decisions of their own government.